Holy smokes, that's bright. <laughs> okay, you wanna see something even brighter? All right, I promised you bright. Here we go. Would you just look at it? Okay, full disclosure, uh, sometimes whenever we film these RVs for you, we like to put in extra lights to brighten it up so you can see all the features. This one, we actually had to dial it down a little bit. This is the Arcadia Select 27 SBH. 32 feet, three inches, 7,700 pounds, and will sleep 10 plus. This is your fifth wheel that you've been looking for if you said, I want fifth wheel size, fifth wheel style, fifth wheel amenities. I'm okay giving up a few features, but I wanna feel like I'm paying used price. We got you covered all day with this one. Let's start right over here on the campsite. Come on, Ryan, look at this beauty. Pressed surface countertops. Uh, would you like a croissant? I would not eat this because I believe it is fake. Anyway, look at the countertop prep space that you have here. And I like how bright and light they made this. It's whitewashed and the accents are slate gray with very light brown. I mean, it is lighter than tan and I love it. It's almost like a bamboo color. Plenty of storage space underneath, plenty of room. And you also have, since it is Keystone, you're gonna have those same calling cards color-coded wiring, thermoplastic duct joiners in the duct so that you get better airflow as well as they make them where they don't crush. And in the floors, you got the upgraded grates. You don't have those metal slats anymore where your dog's feet could get hurt, the kids or even yours. More importantly, if you drop something down in there, uh, it went into the duct and you had to get it out. So food, stuff like that. Nope, don't have to worry about it. Up top, got a little bit of component shelf storage here. Furion AM FM Command Center that uh, has USB as well as H HDMI, and you got the HDTV on the swivel that also has the key TV multi-source connection, the smart connector, if you will. I like that because if you get to the campground, don't know if it's cable or satellite, the receptacle will still send your entertainment down. More storage up above my flush-mounted Furion microwave here. I got speakers in the ceiling, the Blade Pure Distribution System, which is kind of like a hurricane or, or excuse me, a tornado style wind. Uh, it just circulates it, gets you about 30% more effectiveness on your cooling with your high output AC that's located right there in the ceiling as well. Now, flush mounted three burner cooktop. Just look at this. Would you like one lump or two with your tea, sir? May I present you your glass cover? that doubles as a backsplash, also gives you more prep space, goes along with the backlit knobs and your 16 inch Furion oven. Underneath, more storage. That's the thing I love about fifth wheels. And what they wanted to do with the Arcadia Select was look, you're gonna get the style, you're gonna get the beauty, you're gonna get those upgraded features, but you're not gonna get everything that a lot of the fifth wheels have. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get outside. but. You do have Solar Flex. Got the Solar Flex 220 on here, which is awesome. The inverted outlets, you can run that off the power of the sun, 12 volt fridge, it'll run it. You can also upgrade it. The one thing you don't need to upgrade, storage. The other thing you don't need to upgrade is brightness. You could leave both of these two campsite windows over here on your kitchen closed if you want to leave the lights on and it's still going to be as bright as the day in here i love it undermounted stainless steel farmhouse style sink here with the subway tile backsplash uh, giving you that kind of mountain pattern i like that got the little faucet sprayer right here uh very modern decorative i like the look of that good job sammy designing this storage underneath <clears throat> i tell you i just can't get over the brightness in this thing, 32 feet, three inches, not even 7,700 pounds, and it's a bunkhouse. Just wait, I'll get there in a minute. 10.7 cubic foot Furion fridge here. It is 12 volt. It is vibration smart. It's got the acrylic front, so it looks clean. It looks modern. And then when it comes time to enjoying those camp cooked meals, how about a U-shaped dinette, plush and comfortable leatherette cushions here that are overstuffed, the extra thick. I got the storage underneath, wood balances, pleated shades. Okay, so here's here's one of the features I'm talking about. In a lot of fifth wheels, you're gonna get the blackout shades. Well, to help get you to a better price point, you now have pleated shades. 
still get good privacy, still get good light dampening, don't have to pay for it. Just one of those features that if you say, we didn't need it anyway, <laughs> then we're right in your sweet spot. Still get good clearance on the uh, height here of the slide. You got the mushroom lights. A lot of times you'll get the wood inlays in there, so that's gone. Uh, if you don't, you say, Chris, I don't need it. Okay, guess what? You don't have to pay for it. You don't get the wood inlay in the slide, but you still get a decorative, beautiful slide with the beveled tops. It's those little things that if you didn't know you were going to miss them, you're not missing them. Come over here, I got myself a pull out to accommodate additional sleeping. I got the mirror there so I can look at my slim fat self right here and extra high storage up top. Probably the only knock I would give this is being able to reach stuff up there. I even have to tippy toe in order to get it. But I do like the fact that I have it there and I like the fact that it goes all the way up to the top. Now, since this is the 27 SBH, I love what they did with this bunk room because you don't get just double over double, you get double over double over double. So if you like Oreos and you're like me, and by the way, don't you ever bring those regular Oreos back in my house. If they're not double stuffed, we will fight. There will be some furniture moving around. Get on in there and check that out, Ryan. Look at that. Double over double over double. And ooh, what's that on the bottom? It's a storage door. Yes. So down here, look at this. If I wanted to, come here, Ryan. We're getting all up in here like the Christmas gravy. If I wanted to take this out and use it as storage, I have a low door right here. I got power, I got lights, I got double sleeping space, giving me room to accommodate multiple people. Plus, I got ward storage. I'm old, so it's gonna take me a minute to get up. And look at that, all the space you need. And here's the other thing I like. A lot of times with the with, with, with the pocket doors, they give you this clasp, but it's like down here. If you're up top, or like you're like the only one here, this to me is just a convenience. You just reach up and, and unclasp it as opposed to making an uncomfortable reach down. So very nice. Thoughtful, beautifully bright. I cannot believe how bright this thing is. Now, also, you're not gonna have the in-command panel on this, which for a lot of people, Hey, yes, it's a wonderful feature. I love it. It's great. I did, could do it with my cell phone, but I don't really need it. Okay, guess what? One less thing that you're paying for to get you to that price point that's still going to get you a premium fifth wheel. Get to check all your batteries, get to run out your slides, your awning, as well as check your tanks. Come up here and there you got your master bathroom. Look at it. You still get porcelain bowl, high rise down there with the foot flush. You still get hangers for your towels, for your terry bath robes, and you still get the shower surround. And here, I'm gonna step up in there. Let's look at it. I like how I got the skylight. Look, I got the fancy shower head. What am I really giving up to get in this price point? I mean, I guess, I guess that's the big question. When I first saw it, I was like, am I gonna like it? Yes, I do. More importantly, I like it for you if you're like me and don't want to break the bank to give my family a wonderful vacation in our own RV that is beautiful that I'm not paying as much as the guy next to me did. Not everybody's like me though. Skylight right there. Vanity right here with an undermounted sink. Okay. I like that. GFCI outlet, tankless water heater, mirrored medicine cabinet that's oversized. I got to tell you, I'm okay. And don't get me wrong, I, I love camp conveniences. I am a very lazy person that enjoys conveniences. I'm okay with the ones I'm giving up here. For example, I'm pre-wired for a second AC right here, but I got the blade distribution system. I got 30% more effectiveness on my high output AC. So do I need the second AC? That's a question you gotta ask yourself. TV backer right here, inverted outlet there. Keystone key TV multi-source connection. Inverted outlet as well as upgraded USB ports there. Uh, I got a shelf up above my little mini headboard. I got storage on both sides. I do have a vent right here as well as storage there. Storage there, storage here, mushroom lights. Uh, and Ryan, come in and check this out. Yes, I got storage under the bed too. But look, I got ward storage right here. 
with a chest of drawers. Okay, they, they maximize the space. And I'm standing on the raise. And I'm 6'2", if I step down. Okay, yeah, sure, I got a little bit more headroom here, but I gotta tell you, all in all, not really missing much, not really missing much at all. 32 feet, four inches, 7,700 pounds, can sleep two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Let's call it 10 to be even, because I don't even like 11 other people that I want to take with me camping. So uh, yeah, beautiful. Let's check out the outside. As my father would say, that's brighter than I'll ever be. Solid step over steps coming out of your Arcadia Select 27 SPH. Now, once again, I want you to remember everything that I've mentioned here is about where they want to be in the market when it comes to price. You still get frameless tinted windows. Extra large awning here with the LED light strip. You get finished off pass through storage, key TV, multi-source connection, as well as inverted outlet here. Right there is a good sample of that aluminum superstructure. And I love the magnetic anti-slam on everything that you get Keystone makes. For your LP tanks, got them right there, one on each side. And take a look at what they did right here on this front cap. I gotta tell you, I, I like this. It, it's, if you notice, it's kinda got an angle with the profile. That's for a purpose. Not only does it give you a little bit more of a better aerodynamic flow when towing, which fifth wheels are easier to tow than travel trailers anyway, you also get more headroom in that storage that we had up above the master bed. Fantastic. Road armor hitch here with the pivoting uh, head. This kind of reduces, I, I love to say it, reduces the chucking and bucking when towing because that, uh, that absorption by that rubber coil kind of just gives it an e easier and even pull. Now, right in there is your spare tire as well as your battery box. And you're gonna see right here that you are prepped for tire link. I would 100% recommend whatever RV you get. Uh, if you do not already have tire mo monitoring, get it. It's paramount. Giggy box right here, as well as solar disconnect and my solar charge controller. I love that. I got me some tie downs if I want to keep the animals safe. And right here is my landing controls. Now, once again, a lot of fifth wheels, you're going to get that automatic leveling. These just have the stabilizers. So you're giving a little bit of that up to get to where you want to be as far as price goes. Right here is the info panel. Now, this thing's 32 feet, and we're looking at 32 feet, 4 inches, 7660 dry, gross vehicle weight, 9,500 pounds. 32 feet can sleep 10, and I'm still under 10,000 pounds. That's awesome. And I still get the Keystone External Command Center with hot and cold shower, winterization, city water connection, black tank flush. Right here are the controls for my, my tanks. Now for your fresh, you do get a 54. For your gray, you get a 60. And then for your black tank, you get a 30. So you do still get some pretty good sizes on that. Key TV multi-source connection. Satellite prep is already on the roof. There's your connector as well as your ZAMP. Quick connect if you want to get those solar briefcases to trickle charge those batteries, you can. Back of your tankless water heater. I just can't get over the fact that they built this and they put the frameless windows in there. And this is brand new. If you can tell we're in a white room, that's because we're in the Keystone Studios. They allowed us to get back here and get this. Ladder prep, backup camera prep. Once again, don't get the backup camera, but you get the prep for it. Very nice feature. You also get the hitch right there. So if you want to put uh, a trailer or a little carrier back there for your bikes, your generator, whatever, you absolutely can. If you remember on the inside where I was laying down, this is that storage door. Look how wide it is. Great spot that if you need the sleeping area under the bunks, you have it. But if you don't, you have the versatility to do it. Oh, and right here, I got the Dexter Easy Lubes, but I still get the Road Armor Suspension. That is nice. And you know what? I want to get under here and take a look at something. So entertain me. And look, yep, I got an enclosed underbelly too. That is awesome. Right there's my rear stabilizers. Get those down. I got LP prep here. So if I want to set up an outside grill, I can. Look, I'm out here getting dirty for you because I want you to see this thing. This is beautiful. The Arcadia Select 
27 SBH. I'm excited about this because I've been asking, give us a fifth wheel that, I want a fifth wheel. Look at the size of this awning. That's huge. I'm seeing it for the first time. I wanted you to see it for the first time with me because 2024 is the year of getting out but also saving at the same time. I wanted to show you a fifth wheel that is new that has a used price near it. This is what they, and they gave me a bunkhouse too. 32 feet, four inches, 7,600 pounds dry, 9,500 pounds gross, which you should never ever fully load RV anyway. But with the features that this thing has, you might be looking at Chris's new RV. So please leave me some comments down below and let me know what did you like about the Arcadia Select 27 SBH? Where would you take it? Do you agree with me that some of those features you don't really need? Is this a sweet spot for you or am I completely missing the mark? Please let me know. Uh, share this with your friends and family. If you know somebody that's looking for an RV that needs something like this and can't, doesn't want to break the bank, share it with them. And click like, subscribe, and notify. Next time we do this, you never know. The RV of your dreams might be waiting on you in your inbox when you get home. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. I hope to hear from you soon. More importantly, I hope to hear that you pick this up, and I want to hear about your journeys. Take care. I'll see you soon.